Are businesses adequately protecting against remote working losses or cyber incidents? I am going to say, without moving to the next slide, no. <laughs> um, the concerns uh, due to this new working from home environment, um, you know, employees working remotely uh, are, are triggering so many insurance related issues that people weren't thinking of prior to the crisis. Uh, so, you know, one of the first things I encourage businesses to do is verify that your workers' compensation policy uh, applies to your, your new employees that are working from home. Um, you need to be aware of exclusions, not only in the workers' comp policies, but in uh, your property policies of your uh, non-owned company equipment and your and, and uh, that also reminds me um, the exclusions in your in your cyber coverage and what we're talking about is in these types of policies um, for example um, let's say you have an employee that was uh, at work and they received an email that was a spoofed email that wasn't a, a true, uh, you know, wasn't from a true vendor and responded to that email and that might have uh, caused someone to make a payment to, to a fraudster, of, of a fraudulent, uh, you know, an imposter of uh, the true uh, vendor and money had changed hands and there was an, an actual loss and that happened at work on your work computer, well, you have cyber coverage, hopefully, um, for that type of incident and there, and there would be um, coverage for that. However, if you're now working from home, you have employees working from home and that same employee was um, working on their, you know, their, their, let's say they had a work laptop or maybe they were never issued a work laptop and they were, they were using their own home device. Well, um, the insurance policy that you have, your cyber insurance policy might not provide coverage in that instance because it, it will say you need to have all employees, you've made the representation in obtaining this insurance that all employees are operating on, on company uh, issued equipment. Um, and that might be an automatic denial. Um, or what um, would be a, a little bit more common uh, example of the risks is let's say you have an employee uh, working from home who has a laptop that doesn't have all the updated security settings that if she was plugged into her network at work, um, doesn't have the necessary firewalls, doesn't have you know, the latest patches. And let's say her, his or her um, laptop was compromised and hacked into, and there was a loss that created um, out of that event. Um, I would not be surprised if an insurance company denied that claim to say you weren't on a network that was protected uh, by your employer. Do you, you did not have the, the all the up-to-date um, fixes um, per your company's policy. So these are things that you have to be mindful of. Um, I have another cyber uh, presentation that you should look for uh, that uh, gets into more detail uh, on, on those issues. So, so if you're interested, look for it. Um, you know, businesses are also now doing deliveries um, as part of, you know, just basic survival. So you have restaurants that, that uh, might be repurposing their employees and having those employees uh, now become delivery drivers uh, rather than using Grubhub or Uber Eats or, or some other mechanism because they want to give their employees a job, which is, which sounds great, right? Well, did you check your uh, commercial general liability policy 
and your workers' compensation policies to see if there's coverage for this new, this new activity. Um, remember, um, as a business, when you apply for insurance, you tell them what the scope of your, your business's activities are. Uh, if, if those activities have changed now to COVID-19 and whether that's delivery drivers or people working from home, you need to alert your insurance carrier and either get the right uh, type of endorsement or get verification in writing that you're covered. Um, another huge point is verify that your umbrella coverage, uh, first of all, I assume you have umbrella coverage. Uh, if not, go get it and then make sure that it applies to all areas of uh, all, all different types of insurance that is being impacted by uh, COVID-19, the new working realities. So that's your workers' compensation and your, your auto coverages. Um, I already mentioned uh, cyber events. Um, they're up more than 600% uh, during this crisis because more people are online, obviously. There's more spear phishing, there's more malware, there's more spoofing of email accounts. Um, my recommendations for all my business clients and for, for anyone that's watching this webinar is, is make sure your H, HR department should uh, re carefully review its employee handbook and make sure it's updated for the, for the new realities of remote working. And so that's step number one. And number two is make sure the employee handbook has been circulated and employees are told, hey, just because you're working from home doesn't mean the handbook doesn't apply. Um, your businesses should also have your IT departments re-examine and verify um, that uh, each remote employee's each remote employee of the business has the proper firewall set up at home. Um, obviously, this is an enormous task. Uh, if you're a company with 100 employees that are now working from home, you know, you're going to say, how can I, you know, it was hard enough when my IT professional uh, was monitoring our one network in our office. How does he possibly monitor you know, 100 networks. Well, there, there are some simple guidelines that can be issued by HR, by the IT department to make sure that those, um, that security, best practices for security uh, on cyber issues is being adhered to. And um, I encourage you to, to reach out to your attorney if you need to, to know, know more about how to roll that out. Uh, also, Accounting departments need to put all the employees, all their staff on high alert as to, you know, the payment process and how um, the, the payment process uh, should, you should have a multi-factor authentication process for getting paid or for being, uh, or for making payments. Make sure that's strictly adhered to, maybe you need to add a third auth authentication process. Um, this is the time. This is the time to carefully review those internal policies and to make sure they're followed. 